M. Yeah. You think I'm filming you, but I'm not. <laughs> I want to show the crap that's outside. November 12th. And it's snowing. Look at your car. I know. Outside. That is not good. I hate that. <laughs> I'm ready. All right. So last week we were kind of, we did some things because Emily's always wanted a sectional couch. Yes. So we rearranged our living room and that was for two different reasons. First off, we didn't have room for our Christmas tree. <laughs> Second off, Emily's never had a sectional or she did have one, I guess, a long, long time ago, but she wanted another one. So. Not that we're going to get new furniture anytime soon, but we do have the option now. So this is what we did. I'll follow you. Please. <laughs> so you can... So we just kind of flip-flopped everything and moved everything around. So our old TV was actually mounted. I'm over here. I'm here, sorry. I, here I am. Go for it. Our old TV was here, and it had big holes in the wall because they had actually ran the cords from uh, down here up to the back of the wall, plus the mount. So I had to right. a lot of passion on this wall and then repaint. Yeah. Also, there, we had a big cabinet that was built out. We had to do away with that. And then. Now. And then we had to get this. TV stand because we want a, a TV stand so that we're not always folding something into the wall and making big giant holes. And it gives us an option to change things in the future if we and, want to. And if we want a bigger TV, it's just easier. You just set the TV there. But we really like the way the room is. Yes. It's much more open and. And we can put our just Christmas tree right like here. It. Where the dog bed is. Right where the dog bed is. <laughs> and then Derek can. We can move the dog bed here, and Derek can lay in the dog bed. Say, say hi, Derek. Hi. <laughs> hey, Derek, while you're at it, how much have you down this week? Zero. Zero. Derek, one more question. When you started keto, was there anything that you would change about how you did it when you started? What have you learned after being on keto for over a year that you would have changed? Just being more knowledgeable going into what I was doing. I know you added a lot more fat in. Has that seemed to have been helping? Yes. Right. Derek says add more fat. <laughs> I knew that was the answer. And real quick, when we do our Friday Night Lives, I don't know when that's going to happen, but we'll probably be in the future, maybe sitting in these chairs in front of the fireplace. Maybe. Because who don't want to be in front of the fireplace? I mean, right. it might not be on because it makes noise when the fans blow it. But I think it's a nice little backdrop. Yeah. So anyway, that's our little quick tour of what we've been doing to rearrange. So everything is basically flopped. It's mirrored. And that will allow the sectional, when we get it... To come around here. To go this way. Because before, if we'd have got a sectional, it would have been cutting off the door. Right. And we need that door because that takes us to our smoker. So, yeah. All right. We'll go on to the rest. Yes. That's it. That's it. I'm James. And I'm Emily. And we show you our actual weight loss journey with the keto lifestyle. And make sure you check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. But most importantly, don't forget to get ready. Set. Keto. Mm -hmm. Way in Saturday. Yep. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. We're so happy that you're here with us. And every Saturday we weigh in and share whether it's the good, the bad, or the ugly, right? And we show her around our house. Yeah. And you already seen Derek's results for the week. And kind of just share with you what's going on with us for the week and then after this is over uh we will show you what we ate for the week yep and we might have a little surprise maybe <laughs> all right so first off let's just 
let's just put it out there ain't nothing special this week that's yeah. kind of what happens when you're already lost 168 pounds between the two of us 170 now is it yeah okay 170 pounds between us uh mm -hmm. weight loss definitely slows down yeah and i hit my 100 pounds and since then i've hit a big brick wall yeah <laughs> what's crazy is is i'm only four pounds away from my actual goal yeah and yes yeah, just as i suspected these last four pounds are going to be fun <laughs> uh, yeah i get it totally get it all right so my results are i am down nothing yep but to be fair i have not went to the bathroom very much this week at all and it is really starting to affect me <laughs> might need some probiotics or something <laughs> you mean a laxative maybe <laughs> I've just not been going. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. It's, he yes. thinks it's keto break. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I, I feel like that when, while I do like keto brick, I feel like when I eat them, yeah. it gives me a hard time going to the bathroom. It's like, Maybe. Poop, it's like pooping a brick. <sighs> All right, so I'm down nothing. Yeah. And I'm sorry that there's no big excitement there. <laughs> Derek's down nothing this week, so... No excitement there. No excitement there. How's Emmy? Mine's not very exciting either, so I'm only down 0.2. That's so point, That's 0.2. Still 0.2, so I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, we show you our food that we eat every week, so yeah. you can look and see, well, there was the problem, but I can't find the problem. The problem's not there. There's no problem. It's just uh, my body and everybody is just taking a pause. I'm sorry. Your body could be healing, right? From the inside. I guess. That's what we'll call it. Yeah. And so. then there is such a difference of losing fat compared to losing pounds. So there's that. <laughs> All right. So just, just as you've seen Derek say, I asked him a question of what he would do different. Mm -hmm. And I think he summed up my answer really good. But I'm going to ask you, what would you... If, yep. If you were... If you started keto now, say mm -hmm. you fell off the rails and... You had to restart. Restart? Yeah. What would you, what advice would you give yourself? To keep it simple. Keep it simple and eat enough, enough protein and fat. Enough protein and fat. Yeah. And how do you find that out? <laughs> it's all trial and error. There's no, there's no simple answer. Yeah. There's, there's definitely not. Um, I know when we first started, there was a lot of times where we, we want to make this or we want to make that. And it calls for a lot of ingredients. And I think keeping it simple, um, like steak and eggs or ground beef and pickles and simple things makes it easier. Like chaffles? Oh, yeah. Chaffles are easy. And you know what? We've been... And chaffles are easy to forget, too. I know. We've been having chaffles this week. And, and, you know, you're always looking for like, oh, well, I don't eat bread. But chaffles make the perfect bread. Perfect bun. The perfect bun. You can yeah. do it. You can put a hot dog in it and fold the chaffle. You can yeah. put hamburgers on it and use it as, it's it's just a sandwich. And, and there's so many different ways you can make it. Like, too. But what's crazy is it's like you go through this spell of making the chaffles. Uh-huh. And then all of a sudden you forget about chaffles. Yeah. It's just, you, it's just totally forgotten about. Yes. And that's crazy. So we need to bring chaffles back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go through real quick. If if I had to redo keto again. Yeah. Restart. Yep. The first thing I would do is I would not forget how amazing that fat makes me feel. Yeah. When I eat fat. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you hear a lot of people say one-to-one -one and this and that. And I think one-to-one... Like 2K cases, that is a good starting point. Mm -hmm. But I, I just think of how many days I felt bad because I didn't eat enough fat yeah. and I didn't have the energy and I felt sluggish. Yeah. All right. Number, I would make sure I had more fat than protein. Is That, that makes me feel better, whether right. it be one and a half yes, to one. These are things you learn. Yes, these are things I've learned. Yeah. So if I ever had to redo it, Mm -hmm. I don't have to relearn them. I yeah. just got to not forget. Yeah. It's funny because, like, I was talking to somebody not that long ago, and they were just kind of getting started. And I'm like, if you think you've had too much fat, eat more. Because <laughs> it'll definitely change the way you feel, at least for me. At least try it. All right. Number two, 
would be I would not snack. If yeah. I had to redo, I would eliminate the you, snacks. You say, it's easy to say I would not. Yes. It's easy to say I would not. To the point that I don't think I would buy if I had to redo it again. Now, we're so close to our weight loss uh -huh. that it, it's not that big of a, you know what I mean? It's like in the beginning, you're unhealthy, you feel bad, you want the weight off. Yeah. You know, I'm very, you know, if I have a bag of nuts or string cheese mm -hmm. as a snack, that's not, it's not cheating. Right. It's just not helping. But sometimes it's easy to overdo it. It is. It's very easy to overdo it, especially with string cheese, because you're right. like, oh, well, this is one carb, and I've had no carbs today, so I and can then, have four of these. Right. And then it can end up being... And then you don't the poop. The whole process is discouraging, you know? <laughs> then you don't poop for a week. Right. It's like, oh, it's the string cheese. Right. Don't blame the brick for what the cheese did. <laughs> <laughs> so snacking okay. would be my next my next eliminate snacking eat your meals eat until you're full because right. if you don't eat until you're full mm -hmm. you're going to want to snack like this week i wanted pistachios yes and so i made some chicken salad and put pistachios in there so while i love pistachios mm -hmm. and it's a good keto snack mm -hmm. i want to include that into my meal so i'm not snacking on it but yeah. still able to enjoy that i think a good rule for snacking is is to eat your meal Mm -hmm. Eat your hamburger, eat your steak, and eat all the stuff. Snack with yep. it. And then, but prioritize the hamburger. Don't eat the snack before the burger. Right. Eat your hamburger, eat your steak, your chicken, whatever. Whatever your main source of protein and fat is. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And then answer your phone. <laughs> and then, when you're full, decide, do I want this snack? Because you're probably not going to want it. Right. Or if you do have it, at least, you know, the insulin spikes are not you know, right. multiple times throughout the day. Yeah. So I think them are my biggest things that I would do. Yeah. So other than that, um, Emmy for sure is starting a challenge this week. Yep. And I haven't decided yet 100% if I'm going to do 100% challenge. So, so as far as what I'm doing anyway. Yes. Emily is going to do 10 days of keto chow. Three meals a day. Three keto chows a day mm -hmm. for 10 days. And that in itself is going to be a challenge because I usually eat twice a day or sometimes once a day. So I feel like I'm going to feel stuffed for now, 10 days. Now, this wasn't exactly our idea. This no. was kind of like a community has been mentioned in this. Right. And now mm -hmm. we're just going to go on board. Now, the only stipulation I have with this is... Mm -hmm. I want to, if I, I'm fine with having the keto chow, uh -huh. okay, but I might, might want to make the keto chow into either like pudding, uh -huh. I might want to make it into waffles, mm -hmm. no syrup, but I'm not going to say that I'm not going to add a couple eggs right. and make, make pancakes or something with it to have it in a solid form. Right. So what nope. I... Noah is not on this challenge, obviously. No. He is Derek gonna, is not either. Yeah, Derek is not. Noah is going to take his hamburgers and sandwiches and yogurt and string cheese and all that stuff that he normally <laughs> eats. Right. So... But I plan on doing three keto chow meals a day um, with whatever fat source I decide. Um, I am either going to do a shake, a creamy... Um, I am going to include beef gelatin for pudding. Mm -hmm. So that is what I plan on doing. All right. And that is, it's not it because this. Speaking of it. There's no better time than when she's doing a keto chow 10 day challenge. Right. I think Chris can do it 100 days. Why not I do it 10%? 10 days. Yes. Yep. And that puts us right up to Thanksgiving. Yes. So we'll be off it for Thanksgiving. Yeah. This is an essentials kit. I'm going to open it up. And show you what's inside. Because we are giving one away. Yeah. And I didn't want to put it in the beginning because I didn't want, you know, if, if you left already, you missed out. <laughs> so in the essential kit, you get a cup. Shaker bottle. Yep. You get a shaker bottle. Get a towel shaker bottle. You get instructions yes you get a vanilla keto chow yep a chocolate keto chow yum a salted caramel keto chow yep a lemon meringue keto chow yep and, and then there's some bonus keto chow 
well, there's at least a bonus. There's a Snickerdoodle Keto Chow. And a Caramel Macchiato Keto Chow. And this is my absolute favorite right now. Absolute favorite. So it's pretty simple. There's markings on the cup. If you use like heavy whipping cream, you would typically go uh, four ounces. There's directions. And there's directions. It's super easy though. Four ounces, put your keto chow in there, put some water in there, shake it up. If you do butter, put your butter, however much fat you're wanting. I know people who use almond milk. I know people who use coconut milk. So, so. when are we going to decide who wins? What day do you want to pick? Um, do you want to do Monday? Let's do Tuesday. We'll, we'll do Tuesday. I'm okay either way. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> and what do we want them to say in order to win? <laughs> what do we want them to say? First off, you have to be in the United States. You can't be outside of the United States. Right. Got to be, I'm going to say 18 and over. Yep. Within the U.S., 18 and older and... What do you want them to say? And All right. What we'll do is we'll draw it right out of the comments. Yep. And it will be, give, you'll get, and we'll update it on the community tab. So you'll, yep. have, you'll have to be subscribed in order to see the community tab. Yes. And then we'll do whatever we can. Once, you know, when we pick the winner, you'll email us your address and we will have one sent directly to you. Okay. What's the magic word? What do, what do you want the magic word to be? Pumpkin. Just pumpkin? say pumpkin. 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 There we go. The magic word is pumpkin. <laughs> so, leave a comment down below. And, like I said, I'm not titling this in the video. Nothing about a giveaway because I don't want people scamming. Yeah. And, yes, it will be in the community tab. There will not be anybody emailing you anything like that. No. You will have to email us when you win. So, no scams. Yes. And we will draw it Tuesday as soon as I figure out how to use that software. Yep. That so randomly you, picks. Software, random pick, use the magic word pumpkin and make sure you hit the thumbs up. Pumpkin. Thumbs up. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, the rest of our week is coming up right now. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Yes. All right. Happy Monday. All right, so we got an air fryer, and we're before we do, we're gonna, we're doing a review on it. Why are you even gonna bring it up then? Because I want you to try it. We're keeping it simple this week, you guys. We're doing burger bacon, kind of week, probably all week, right? Probably. And I want eggs. So. All right. Air fried burger. Air fried burgers. See how she likes it. I, they're semen. How is it? Is it better than just cooking burgers any other way? Or is it's it It's very juicy. Mm-hmm. It needs more salt. I didn't salt it enough. But is it good? It's really good. It's really juicy. It's good. Good. All right. That was test one. Test one. We're going to burn this thing up for a review. So. Yeah. Apparently it's going to be burgers because we're doing burgers all week. No, oh, we're going to do bacon. <laughs> all right. Anyway, yeah, burgers and bacon. I had a leftover burger, smoked burger for lunch, mm -hmm. and I had some leftover pork mm -hmm. with sour cream and hot sauce, and it was actually really good with with that too. For lunch, all right. Yeah. For lunch, I had a string cheese and two burgers mm -hmm. that were left over, and yep. now I'm going to have a couple burgers for dinner. Yeah. That's Monday. Tuesday. <laughs> it is Tuesday. And it's been a busy day. We ate late. We ate at like eight o'clock at night because mm -hmm. we did a interview, interview. <laughs> with semi retired Bob. Yay. And then the interview, the interview is not going to be a couple hours, but then we, we ended up talking for a couple hours yeah. because that's just how it is. Yeah. So for dinner, I made 
bacon in the air fryer. Yep. Which I'm not that, I don't know if I'm that big of a fan of. I, I think I'd rather just put it in the oven or I think that maybe air fry was not the method to put the bacon on. Maybe just bake in the air fryer. What's your thoughts? What I don't do you know. think? Uh, bacon okay. is bacon. I kind of like it. I still ate it. I, okay, so we put it on a rack. And that kind of takes it up out of its own grease. Yeah. And I think that I like it in its own grease. I like bacon. I think I like it fried. I had four scrambled eggs. So the air fryer is kind of a mixed emotion because it's, you know, the rest of the world is like, oh, I don't, you know, it, we're not using grease or whatever. We're saving the, we're not getting the fat in an air fryer. But we want the fat. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we made burgers in it yesterday, and it was great. I loved it. Yeah. Um, because they I were cooked in the fat. I prefer my bacon as bacon chips, like Dr. Barry does. Yeah. So, so we want that's our bacon. my favorite way. We want our bacon fried, not air fried. We're so spoiled, but, I so mean, spoiled with the bacon if, grease that now we if, didn't have it. If you were here by yourself and you just wanted to make, like, four slices just for you. I would never make four slices just for me. I would eat the pound for me. Never, ever four slices. I just prefer making the bacon chips because you can make as much as you want all at once. Never four slices. <laughs> ever. I'm If I make a package as a single serve, whatever it is is what you eat. I ate two slices of bacon, four scrambled eggs, and for lunch I had two leftover burgers that we still had in the refrigerator, and... um. What did I eat with it? Oh, I ate the rest of our salad, I our lettuce we had. I, I had a little tiny salad, so I didn't waste any vegetables. I potentially ate eight pieces of the bacon. <laughs> but he didn't have eggs. I didn't have <laughs> eggs. And right now, um, I was actually in the middle of watching um, Two Queens Go Keto, if you haven't checked them out. And she was talking about an apple pie creamy so i wanted to make an apple pie keto chow so i could put it in the creamy in the freezer so i can have it but she said she adds peanut butter to the apple pie why ice cream as a mix-in hmm. she says it's really good i think you could put peanut butter with anything bacon well yeah i really do yeah bacon peanut butter yeah so all right that's so, tuesday what'd you eat for lunch food do you not know what you ate yeah i had Two string cheese, two burgers. I'm trying to get these a little shorter. Okay, go ahead. That's it. That's it. That's All it. right, we'll see you tomorrow. What did you have? I already said it. You did? Yep. I we'll guess I tomorrow. didn't listen. I missed imagine, it. Imagine that. Oh, my mind's going a thousand miles an hour because <laughs> it's 840. I still got to upload a video. I still got to get sleep. <laughs> <laughs> see you tomorrow. It's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. I only got one more day at work because I am off Friday for Veterans Day. What the heck? I am off. No, are you off nope. Friday? Nope. I expect some kind of a smoked meal. You'll get nothing and like it. <laughs> oh, happy Wednesday. We're not, we're not going to show Emily's food. We're going to show mine. Okay, go ahead. You can show your food. I have a Big Mac bowl, except we didn't have lettuce, so... It's minus lettuce. So it is Thousand Island, mm -hmm. a good Thousand Island, not a bad Thousand Island. <laughs> uh, a lot of hamburger, shredded cheese, hot spicy pickles. Yep. And lots of salt. Did you? I didn't salt mine. And pepper. So let me show you this. I'm not saying it's perfect. But this is Walden Farms, and they sell it at Kroger. Yeah. And it was four sixty nine, so it's not the cheapest thing. But that's probably equivalent to like Primal Kitchen if you was to get two of them for ten dollars at Costco. Right. That makes sense. And because I like Big Macs, or I like Big Mac bowls, <laughs> <laughs> I always mess up this camera. You always do. And, but there's no soybean oil. And it's like... No canola oil. Nope. Uh, erythritol, monk fruit, so cucumbers. That's the kind of ingredients that's in there. Yeah. Like the number one ingredient, the first is water. Yeah. And then it's 
distilled vinegar, cucumbers, apple cider vinegar, erythritol, salt. It's not, other than Primal Kitchen, I don't even know if Primal Kitchen has Thousand Island. They do. Well, they don't have it where we shop. Yeah. I know I probably have exists. to order it. I probably yeah. have to order it. Yeah. So, we I just love... go to Kroger and get this. Yeah. We do. So, yeah. Big Mac bowls. Big Mac bowls. Wednesday's Minus. all Minus. about me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off Friday. We get what I want. I get what I want for dinner. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing a little bit of work around the house because we actually organized our entire living room. Yeah, we completely flipped it. We did. But, and I'm so happy about which it. Which left like big holes. Yeah. So big holes needed filled. Because the TVs were, you know, there's a TV mounted, all that kind of stuff. It right. all had to be moved. Yay, me. Yay, James. Happy Wednesday. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Guess what day it is? Thursday. It is Thursday. <laughs> and guess what we're having for dinner? Not McDonald's. We're having Big Macs. Yummy. Huh. Here. It's made with chaffles. Three chaffles, two burgers, pickles, and good Thousand Island. And shredded lettuce. And the birds are really chatty again. And we're getting ready to go live on a Thursday. What the heck? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I made mine a little bit different. Mm hmm Yeah. Mine's just one burger patty, and I made eggs in the chaffle maker. So I have an egg, a burger, the Thousand Island, the Thousand Island pickles, lettuce. It's so good. So we had Big Mac bowls last night without the shredded lettuce. Just a right. bowl. Yeah. Well, we ended up getting the Dash, the, the four mini. Mm-hmm. Because we want to start making Noah sandwiches for his lunch. Right. Instead of buying them just to save on money. But it opens up because he's eating a lot of breakfast sandwiches. And if we, these, he can have. Lunch meat sandwiches. Yeah. Whatever he wants. Roast beef and cheese. He can have all kinds of stuff. Right. And that link, if you want to know, I'm not selling anything. No sales. No. But I researched it and it was like forty nine ninety nine at all the stores. Target, Walmart. Mm -hmm. yeah. But Amazon has it for thirty nine ninety nine, yeah. and there is a link down below if you would like to get that. And it was way better to make four at a time. And it has a breadstick holder on the side. It is not. It makes breadsticks. No, no. He said, "And look, it makes breadsticks." I'm like, James, you're so dumb. That's an <laughs> overflow. But guess what? The overflow does. It makes breadsticks. It makes breadsticks. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, I'm gonna scarf this down before we go live. Yeah. See you tomorrow on Friday. Yeah. With no lives. Yeah. It's Friday. Happy Friday. And we're not doing a live. It's just weird because we did our live last night. Yeah. You look tall today. Okay. Tell me why. Keto, baby. <laughs> I'm a giant. Right. <laughs> All right, so don't worry about her food. My food looks better. I'm having a salad with pickles, cheese, ground beef, lettuce, it's kind of a weird salad. It's got Hungry Heath, Five Spice on it, and Caesar. A little odd, but it'd be wonderful. Emily's got bacon, sour cream, pickles, and ground beef. No, what did you have? He's having the same thing as me. I don't know where his plate is, but mm -hmm. he made the same as me. Really? Because mine looks better. <laughs> Spicy pickles, of course. Yeah. And I did use Hungry Heath's... Um, uh, five spice? Not the five spice. Oh, you used the tender. I did on the ground beef. The not as hot. And Redmond salt. That's it. <laughs> I cooked it like that, so yours might be extra hot. I hope. I can only hope. Yeah. So that is dinner Friday for lunch. I had no lunch. Emily fasted for lunch. I fasted. I had a whopper. <sighs> because as inspired by the Big Mac last night. So, today I had the two chaffles. I had one quarter pound patty, 
cheese, but I didn't have onion because I, I was just too lazy to cut them up. Um, Pickle. Lettuce. Primal ketchup mayo. Mayo and sugar-free Heinz ketchup. <laughs> and it was wonderful Whopper. It was it was the best, yeah. the most wonderfulest <laughs> Whopper. Yeah. I was really busy today at work. Like, really busy. Was you? Yeah. All right, it's time to eat. You can, you can tell me all about your busyness while we eat. Okay. See ya. All right, we didn't close out the video properly. We did not. We did not. So that's it for Saturday. Thank you if you watched, stuck around this long. And yeah, we will see you. Well, you'll see an announcement come up on Tuesday. Yeah.